Welcome everybody to another edition of Super's Corner, a show all about Hudson County Schools of Technology, its staff, its students, and its programs. And with me tonight is uh, Mr. Gargiul, the Superintendent of Schools at Hudson County Schools of Technology. I'm your host, John Placino, and uh, we're going to talk about the wellness program this segment. Uh, basically, it uh, purpose is to bring health and vitality to the staff here at Hudson County Schools of Technology and we had a uh, wellness day a couple of weeks ago and uh, Frank you want to just give us a little overview of why we do that day right the, the uh, usually when you're in schools your emphasis is the children and of course it, it should be that and, right. uh, but uh, we, we we always put aside at least one or two days a year to emphasize with the staff how important it is to uh, be healthy and to live healthy. And uh, I have to tell you, over the years we've been doing this, and this is not just something we just started, it's something we've been doing for many, many years. It, it, uh, it introduces the staff uh, to uh, a whole new way of, of what life is about for some of them. A lot of them are into uh, the health program themselves, but a lot of them are not. And we have a plethora of, of things that uh, they can choose from on that particular day. In the past, and even right now, we, we do things like, uh, it's not only the dance and the aerobic pieces of it, it's the practical pieces of it, like CPR, what your cholesterol uh, rating is, or, or things like that. <clears throat> and it gets the, the staff back involved in their own, their own well-being. It's a little selfish motive. We started this years ago because the insurance company mm -hmm. <clears throat> said it's a good thing right. uh, to, to have people address their health before they get Preventive. Yeah. Kind of a preventive yeah. thing. And it really blossomed. I think the staff appreciates it. I certainly think it's a very worthwhile yeah. development piece that a lot of times you forget about it with your staff. And hopefully it transforms, transforms right into the students. Mm -hmm. And so you will see, even in the course of the year, we have a lot of mixed classes of, of actually uh, staff and students. Like I know the uh, Zumba class is a big, uh, big thing today. The yoga class is another... Mm -hmm. uh, big thing. And we run those all year long. But the, the, the introduction piece of it, the wellness program that we do twice a year, really is the introduction to, to staff members. And on that day, we have a, a bicycle club, and we have a, 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 a CPR class, and, and we have a Zumba class, and mm -hmm. we have a bunch of things at the... Weight the, room, I think they were in the weight yeah, room. Yeah, they were in the weight room, volleyball, they were uh, doing yeah. a, a, a... I know, I did the volleyball, and I was sore for about five days after it. But it was, <clears throat> well, well, it, it reintroduces good. your muscles yeah. to, to doing something that they don't normally do. And, you know, like a, a, a guy like myself, I mean, I try to do a little bit of walking, but right, right. there's a lot of fun ways you can get involved that aren't so boring that, that, yeah. that help you. And I, I, uh, personally, I think that it's one of the, the better staff development things. To to believe it or not, most of people would think staff development revolves around the academics and those pieces, and it does, mm -hmm. but it's broader than that. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, I, I, I see that many of our teachers now are involved, because of these, these things we do once or twice a year, are involved all year, that they normally wouldn't be. We introduce them to our facilities. We introduce them to ways they can get involved. Mm -hmm. And we follow it up. Mm -hmm. A lot of the credit's got to be given to, uh, and I, I don't want to miss this point, to Joe Serangelo, the assistant superintendent, because he's the one that really drove this thing. And he, and he is the epitome of... He's in good shape himself. Oh, he's in, he's in great <laughs> he shape, he, and he lives it. I mean, he it's lives not it. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. and he had the he he's kind of in charge of it, and it's the overview. And I think Greg Askelis also is involved in some way too. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. the staff is involved yeah. in a big way. Greg right. is the is the kind of the the, the mm -hmm. practitioner, the right. guy on hands on right. guy, and Joe kind of helps him put the program from the central office place. But it, but it's a uh, uh, you'll see from the tape that it's it's a, a bunch of different things that that uh, the staff's involved in. And it's really just an introduction. And it, what the real, the real benefit from it is what the people pick up on. I, and I, yeah. I would say we have a good percentage of our staff involved right. and, on a regular basis right. in staying healthy. So let's stop right here. Let's go to the videotape. You'll see what we're talking about, and we'll be back after this uh, videotape here. Stupendous, and we're going to win. We will not lose. A guarantee. Um, I'm going to go into the weight room. 
weight room, do a little cardio, um, do a little volleyball as well, and probably try to organize a small basketball game just to get a little sweat going. Trying to stay healthy, that's what it's all about today. I'm expecting to get my CPR certification. All right, so today, uh, what's going on? We have the wellness day, and uh, our wellness program is uh, really important here to our school district. It started with a long time ago, probably about seven years ago, and uh, it was one of the main priorities of Superintendent Gargiulo and uh, Assistant Superintendent Joe Sarangelo. And uh, what they really wanted to do was they wanted to get a, a wellness day, an activity day for the staff to um, basically, instead of doing research, you know, when we always pick a topic every year, was this was to really concentrate on wellness and to try to get the staff to be more involved in the activities, whether it was during the intramural program after school or whether it was to do the workout sessions that we have with our facilities during the day. How are you feeling um, after the first exercise? Sweaty. Energized. Today was uh, just to try to maybe try to recruit a few more of the teachers to see if we can get them into those programs to just get a little more understanding of what it was about. So today, uh, when we normally have about six or seven people that partake in, in yoga after school, when there's two sessions, 315 to 415, 415 to 515, and today we actually had about 24 people in two different sessions partaking in yoga, and a lot of people got great feedback from that, and hopefully they're gonna stay with that program. We just started our Zumba program, which seems to be uh, you know the hot topic at the time, and uh, a lot of people had a great time today, and they're, you know, you know, dancing and uh, really, you know, sweating to the beats, I guess. And uh, it's good, a lot of people signed up for that, so it looks like that's gonna be a successful program. <laughs> Also, uh, Dr. Jamarella was really supportive with uh, all the different programs today, and we also got a chance to utilize the uh, field house and to show some of the faculty, because in our complex it's a little separated from building to building, and uh, we got a lot of the teachers to come down and actually to see the field house to play volleyball, and we, you know, that turned out to be some great, some competitive games today that actually worked out pretty good for the staff. purpose of this is uh, not just to have a fun day for the staff, it, it goes deeper than that. We're trying to get the staff interested in their own personal fitness and our student population too. We're running wellness programs for both students and staff at the same time. We want to get them involved in their personal fitness. This was going to drive some interest in it, and it did. We, we have new recruits in all of the different things that we run after school. In both places we run uh, Zumba uh, after school activities for staff. We run uh, fitness training, uh, weightlifting, yoga at both places. Uh, and we're looking into other alternatives for the staff. CPR, we throw that in there because we think that's important for all of our uh, teachers and our non-instructional staff, especially our bus drivers, janitors, anyone to be able to help um, whether it's another staff member or students when those occasions arise. We learned all the steps step by step and now I feel confident that if one of my co-workers like Dr. Bullock God forbid chokes or has a heart attack, I could save her life. Overall I thought today was a success. Um, I'm hoping that we maybe have anywhere between 45 to 50 people that signed up that are going to be in this fourth session during the spring and you know hopefully they, they stay true to that and, that and that would be wonderful not only for their health but also for the camaraderie of the teachers and faculty. Hey welcome back to Super's Corner with Frank Gargiola, our superintendent of schools here at Hudson County Schools of Technology and we were talking about the wellness program. The tape you just saw is all about our program, the facilities that we have, the different programs, the health programs that we have. And I want to start this segment about how important physical activity is, uh, not only for the staff, for everybody. They say that uh, people should have about 150 minutes of physical activity a day. Students should move, student, uh, teachers should move about 60 minutes a day doing something. And, and uh, uh, how do you feel about teachers that, uh, do you see any change in them this, from this program? Do you see them thinking about, I know we have a weight challenge program also that is in conjunction with this. How important is it for teachers to be 
have vitality, have energy, and bring that to the student? Well, I mean, yeah. the, uh, the question really, really yeah. answers itself. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's a kind of, if you're, if you're sediment, because you're laying around all right. day and you come right. into the classroom, that's where you are, that's what you project to the kids. Right. So, but, but from a health point of view, just a vitality point of view, it's not only physical activity. It's also, it's also we do a lot of stuff with the mental piece of this. Right. We do a lot of stuff with the dieting, the nutrition piece of it. You know, and hopefully uh, we're moving that all from, from our teachers to our students. And so it's one family, it's not, it's not separate. Even though we have a, uh, a day for, uh, we actually have two for our teachers and right, staff, right. It's, uh, it's, it's more than that. It's because hopefully that whole mentality will spread mm -hmm. into the student body. Right. Because, I mean, uh, health is a big issue today. Uh, it's, I guess it's always been an issue, but it's, it's a big, we know more about it today. We know that you need to move. Mm -hmm. We know that you need to eat properly. Mm -hmm. I know that you need to, to have, uh, take uh, precautions. I mean, we know all of those pieces. And just to bring it in front of everybody and to excite them about it, it's really what this is about. Uh, and, 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 you know, we have a, a, a staff here with well, you know, three or four or 500 people that we have on staff that we try to educate them. And hopefully that gets to the students and probably gets into their families also. And well, some people don't, don't think they have the ability sometimes. But, you know, uh, even if you're, you're excessively overweight, you can walk a few steps. Right. And maybe it's just three steps today. Maybe tomorrow it's five steps and whatever those pieces are, but the introduction of it and the, and the district saying, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I see teachers once in a while walk in the halls here and they, they have, a, some of them have it down that there's so many laps around the hall that a mile, they right. have it down pat and it's a pretty good, pretty good, I like to see it and I think it's a good thing and it rubs off on everybody. And I, I was involved in the volleyball and that was, that was fun and but it had a side benefit of bonding with the teachers in a different way. I mean, you felt like you were a team there and it has other, you know, it has, uh, we, we see each other in the hall or we walk past each other, say hello, how you doing? But when you're actually involved in the same activity and you're, you're working together as a team, you form, form a bond with the teachers that you wouldn't ordinarily. I found that that was an interesting aspect of it. Oh yeah, you get, yeah. You get, you get all the sidebars from it. There was a, a couple guys playing basketball right. down in the, the, uh, uh, in the gym that day. Right. Uh, uh, some of them were 65. Yeah. <laughs> 60, 65 years old, and they played against some of the younger. And the conversation up in, up in the office, I was just listening to it, of how we almost beat these young guys kind right, of thing. Right. But yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it has, yeah. Side, it has yeah. side attractions yeah. to it. You're right about yeah. that. And probably it's just as important as the, yeah. the other yeah, pieces. Right. Yeah. You know, teachers are all by, by their very nature almost afraid to take a risk. Right. Because we always box them in kind right. of, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, uh, it's a real, it's a great day. I, yeah. I wouldn't change it. I think yeah. it's a, a valuable day. Uh, the message is a good message, and the, the uh, and the district I think benefits in the end. Okay. Well, Frank, I'd like to thank you once again for being on Super's Corner, Frank Arjula, Superintendent of Schools. I'm John Bucchino. Thanks for watching the show. We'll be back next week. <laughs>